Good morning. My name is Jason Maychalk, and I'm excited to share with you today. The scripture for today's devotion comes from Isaiah chapter 9, verse 6. It says, For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulder, and his name shall be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Eternal Father, Prince of Peace. Today, I want to focus on the first name of Jesus, Wonderful Counselor. As I was thinking and praying about this devotion, I was wondering, why was this name given to Jesus? And so I decided to think about and research two things. First, what each word means, and second, what a counselor does and how that parallels to who God is. So first, the definitions. Wonderful can be def Wonderful can be defined as marvelous or miraculous. And counselor is someone who is a confidential advisor. So taking those definitions, we can say that this verse says, and his name shall be called a marvelous or miraculous confidential advisor. So this brings me, now that we have that second point, that first point down to my second point, which is what does a counselor do? So a counselor, is someone that people go to if they have a problem they are trying to work through. This can be either a professional counselor or it can be a friend, a family member, or someone who has a lot of experience in the area of the problem that you're trying to work through. In either case, there are three characteristics that I can think of that make a great counselor. And they are someone who asks good questions someone who listens, and someone who provides advice. So let's look at asking good questions first. From two sources that I found, Jesus asked either 307 or 339 questions while he was here on earth. Questions, when we are asked them, they make us stop and reflect. Sometimes we are too busy with life, whether it's going really well or maybe not so well, to stop and reflect on what's happening to us, what we're thinking, what we're feeling, or what God is wanting to teach us. So when we come to God, we need to let him ask us questions instead of us doing all the question asking. When we ask him, when he, when we let him ask us questions, he will show us things that we may not have been aware of, been avoiding, or things that he wants to teach us. We need to be open and we need to open up when God asks us questions and we need to tell the, the truth. This is because healing, growth, or repentance can only happen when the truth is known. So when we go to God for counseling, we need to let him ask the questions. Another inter interesting fact I learned while researching this topic is how many questions Jesus was asked. Not how many he asked, but how many questions he was asked. In the book, Jesus is the Question, the author mentions that Jesus was asked 183 questions, but he only answered less than 10 of them. So in the Gospels, Jesus asked three questions for every two that people asked him, but he only answered less than 10. Sometimes Jesus would answer a question with a question of his own. And sometimes he'll do that with us too. We'll, we'll come to him in prayer, we'll ask him a question, but he'll ask one in in return and this makes us stop and reflect on why he asked that question and those questions that he asked us will point us to the root of the issue we're having if we let them sometimes the problem we think we have is really just a cover for a deeper problem so when we come to Jesus we may not always get the answers to our questions but instead we need to be ready to answer the questions that he will ask us and be willing to let him know what it is that we truly think, feel, or believe. So now that we've talked about questions for a little bit, let's talk about listening. We all know someone who's a good listener. It's someone who takes the time to really listen to what we're saying, is able to recap what we're saying in their own words, and is at times able to ask questions to go deeper if needed. And they're someone that we can trust. When I was in a leadership class, a professor mentioned that listening demonstrates attentiveness and attentiveness demonstrates trust. When we come before God, we know that he will listen to everything we have, 
to say. We, will, we can trust that he will hear every word. Proverbs 15, 29 says that the Lord is far from the wicked, but he hears the prayer of the righteous. So we can be confident that the wonderful counselor, Christ Jesus, hears us when we pray. Again, as God listens, we need to be receptive of the questions that he will ask us. So the third thing that a counselor does is provide good advice. We go to our parents, our spouse if we're married, close friends or coworkers when we are encountering problems and need guidance. Proverbs 11:14 says, where there is no guidance, a people falls, but in an abundance of counselors, there is safety. There is safety because we can hear all sides, opinions, and ideas and make a better decision. And when we go to God, John chapter 14, verse 26 says, but the helper, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, he will teach you all things and bring to remembrance all that I have said to you. So God says that he will bring to remembrance all that he has said to us. When we come to God with questions, he will most likely have an answer already in his word, and he will point us back to what he has already said. So if we come to him and we're troubled, he will point us back to that he is the God of peace. If we are fearful, he will point us to love and to his protection. If we are sick, he will remind us that he is our healer. And if we're broken, he'll remind us that he can make us whole. So to, reta- so to recap, Jesus will be called a wonderful counselor, which we have said is a miraculous confidential advisor. And an advisor or counselor is someone who asks questions, listens well, and gives good advice. When we come before God this Christmas season, let's remember that God will ask us questions to help us grow and mature as his disciples. We need to trust that he will listen and guide us with his word. God bless.